YouTube, it's Naya Nappy, and I'm back for another Tip Tuesday. Now this week we are going to be making two DIY carrot infused recipes because your girl was in love with the carrot oil last week, but she did something silly. You know, the thing I tell you guys not to do. Well, I skipped my wash day because my hair and my scalp was feeling so good. But you know, as someone who has eczema, skipping wash day is not great for my hair. Cause after a while, I had my scalp just started itching and I knew it was due to build up and you know, I work out five days a week. So, you know, I said, okay, <laughs> this week I'm gonna do two recipes for y'all. I'm gonna do a DIY carrot pre-poo slash leave-in that you can use for your hair to soften your hair before washing or just something you can leave in on a daily. And then we're gonna make that DIY carrot hair mask slash deep conditioner cause my hair needs some love my scalp needs some love and of course you know i'm gonna throw some ayurvedic herbs in there because that's that's what i do on this channel okay all right so let's go ahead and get to mixing all right so we're going to begin with our carrot leave-in slash pre-poo now we're going to use two carrots now i soak these carrots for 45 minutes in water and vinegar to clean them we want to chop them up and put them into our blender and then we're going to use rose water. We want to add about half a cup of rose water. And then we're going to follow up with our scalp and tea rinse that we made in the two previous videos. I'll link that up top and down in the description box below. So our total wet mixture will be one cup. And then we're going to add half a teaspoon of panthenol. Y'all, we had a whole video about panthenol. To learn more about, click the link below. Now stir the panthenol to completely dissolve it and then pour the mixture into the blender. And blend for about three to four minutes. We're gonna make sure the carrots get all the way pulverized. And then we're gonna strain this out in a pantyhose into a glass jar. Okay, y'all, so of course, you know, we're going to preserve this mixture. We're going to use Optifin at 1%. So we're going to add about two grams of Optifin to this mixture. And then we're going to add in some essential oils. Use whatever you like. I'm going to be using my orange essential oil at about three grams. Go ahead and stir this mixture up. And y'all, it smells absolutely amazing. And then pour it into a bottle that you can easily spray onto your hair as a pre-poo or for a leave-in. Now y'all will be moving on to the carrot hair mask. And I'm going to be using two carrots again and chopping them up and then putting them into a pan. Now y'all, this is optional. You, you can just blend the carrots like we previously did, but I wanted the mixture to be a little bit more thicker and have a little bit more texture to it. So I added one cup of water and I also added those carrots that we previously had just chopped up for our leave-in. And I'm going to boil this to make the carrot soft. Now you're not gonna do a hard rolling boil. This is going to be a very soft, soft boil. Okay, you wanna cook that for about 10 minutes until the carrots are very soft. Now you can use your immersion blender or you can use your regular blender, whatever you have, to completely blend the carrots out. Now you will need some more water, but don't add too much water to the mixture. Start with about a half a cup to one cup of water to help blend the mixture. Okay, once it's blended and the carrots have completely pureed to very, very soft, go ahead and strain this mixture using that pantyhose again. All right, now I'm going to add in some Ayurvedic herbs. I'm going to add about a quarter cup of moringa powder. Now y'all, moringa has so many benefits and is rich in vitamin C. I will also link the video down below if you wanna learn more about moringa powder. Next, go in with your carrot oil that we made last week and add one large tablespoon. Now go ahead and blend that with your immersion blender and get this nice and emulsified together. Now I'm gonna to go with my deep conditioner. Remember y'all, I'm trying to use up my old stash 
So I have about four to six ounces in here. So I'm gonna just dump that into the mixture. Now y'all, I really wanted the mixture to be a little bit thicker than what it is. That was the intention of, you know, boiling the carrots to help get the mixture a little bit thicker. And since it wasn't, I went in and added some omelet powder to the mixture to kind of help thicken up the mixture without making it super drippy. And plus, omelet has amazing benefits to so the moringa and omelet powder. We'll talk about some of that while we apply this to our hair, okay? Okay, so let's begin with the leave-in spray. Okay, this pre-poo, whatever you all want to use it as, it can be used for multi-purposes. So let's go ahead and get that in my hair and kind of detangle this, this madness, all right? This, this is a little bit ridiculous, all right? Let me take off this earring so I don't get this caught up in anything. Y'all, as I'm spraying this mixture directly on my hair, I can instantly feel my hair come to life. And that's really because my hair is really dehydrated. I wanna show y'all how powerful this mixture is and how much my hair is very receptive to it. If you notice as I'm just kind of squishing and squeezing the mixture into my hair, you're starting to become shinier and more hydrated. Take a look. Okay, as we move to the next side, y'all can already see that stretch in my hair, y'all. That's from spraying that carrot oil in my hair. Now, last week we talked a little bit about it, but carrot oil contains vitamin A, which is found in retinol. Now, we know retinol is beneficial for our skin, but it's also beneficial for our hair, especially as we continue to age. Our hair can lose that pigment and that density, and this carrot oil can help to slow down some of those aging effects. And it can also help the hair become shinier, healthier, and smoother. Also y'all, if you notice my hair is a little bit visibly shorter, I did do a trim and I'm a pretty aggressive trim. Um, I, I don't know, I have issues with scissors. I trimmed once and then I went back and trimmed again. But um, the wonderful thing about this is that I know that my hair will grow back. And as we learned last week, carrots are also wonderful in helping to stimulate hair growth. So I'm definitely going to be spraying this onto my roots, massaging that in. Okay, so I left the preview treatment in for 30 minutes using a steamer, and now I'm going to shampoo my hair. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with our mask. The mixture has thickened up some, so it should be easier to apply to your hair. All right, so let's just get started. Now y'all, this mask is a little messy, so put a towel down or do this in your restroom or in the shower, wherever it will create the least amount of cleanup for you. It does apply pretty smooth onto your hair and allows your strands to become elongated. Y'all, I can already tell that my hair is very receptive to this treatment um, just by how it's elongating and stretching. So let's just talk about some of the benefits of Moringa and Omla powder. Now, Moringa powder contains over 90 different vitamins and 46 different antioxidants that help with hair growth, hair fall, scalp circulation, and fighting free radical damage to our hair and moisturizing our strands. Moringa is the wonderful, wonderful herb. It also contains seven times more vitamin C than oranges. It has vitamin B1, B2, B3, B6, B7. Um, it also contains inositol. Now, a lot of y'all know that inositol is found in rice water, and a lot of y'all want these benefits without using rice water, so definitely try Moringa powder in your regimen. And again, as I said before, y'all, as much as we like to use stuff externally, don't forget to have carrots, to eat your carrots. You can drink carrot juice. You can do um, sauteed carrots, cooked carrots, whatever. But getting that into your regimen, into your diet is also very important for improving hair health and getting all the nutrients your body needs. So leave this mask on for 45 minutes with a plastic bag over your hair so you do not drip everywhere. Y'all. My hair feels so fluffy and light. Like, can y'all see this? <laughs> Total obsession right now with how my hair feels. Um, it rinsed out really easily. Oh, y'all. <laughs> I can't keep my hands on my hair. Um, feels really, really good and conditioned. 
Okay, so I'm going to highly recommend trying this, especially if your hair is in need of some hydration. Um, don't forget we learned last week that carrots are great for hair growth. So this is great to include into your hair regimen. As always, do a test patch on your hair to make sure you guys are not allergic to any of the ingredients we used today. And now let's get to the fun part. So, so last week I hit 20K on YouTube and I'm going to pick two winners for today's Oat and Owl collection and the gloss bars, okay? So the two names I picked at random were Brandy Taylor and Stacy Parker. Yeah. So if you guys can actually just um, send me a message um, on IamNappy at gmail.com. I'll leave that in the description box and um, down below as well. Um, thank you guys for participating with me. Please let me know if you guys have any other recipes you're interested in seeing. Um, but that's it for this week's Tip Tuesday. I'll see you next time. Bye.